Alright, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is 10 Extinct Animals Scientists Are Going to Revive. Uh, this is coming from the channel Wonders of the World. Uh, let's check it out. Um, generally, if animals are extinct, I, you know, on average, I'll be like, listen, let them remain extinct. They probably went extinct for a reason. All right. Either they were too weak to survive or they were too terrible to survive and we annihilated them. It could be two things, generally, two reasons. All right. What would be the reason of bringing back some of these absolute monsters? Hey, guys, the movie Jurassic Park has taught us that science specifically nothing from Jurassic Park Tests shouldn't experiment with the DNA of extinct creatures as it could end badly. Nonetheless, given the rapidly advancing science and the opportunities that open up, scientists can't pass up the chance to revive extinct animals. And thus, they're already actively engaging in attempts to resurrect creatures that have long been gone. In today's video, we'll tell you about 10 extinct animals that scientists are going to revive in the near future. All right, let's go. If you thought that unicorns were fictional creatures you could only meet on the pages of fairy tales or in science fiction movies, you were right, but only to some extent. Unicorns did really exist, but they looked a little different than what we've been seeing in the movies. One perfect example is the Siberian unicorn, or to be more precise, the Siberian Elasmotherium. It's an extinct species of rhino that lived in Eurasia in the Middle Pleistocene period. Scientists believe that these particular creatures, which are relatives to modern rhinos, went extinct about 29,000 years ago. Okay. Scientists believe that from a biological point of view, these species have gone extinct relatively recently and thus can be resurrected. The permafrost has well preserved the remains of this real unicorn, which gives a real chance for the revival of this species today. Bro, why for why why bring back an animal that is going to be hunted to extinction as soon as it comes back? All right, why? Do you understand that people in East Asia grind up the the horns of a lot of these animals and and they they think that they are like medicinal. All right, why would you bring this animal back to help one singular market? That's a little silly. All right, um, yeah, let's not do that. Again, gone for a reason. So far, I don't like this one, but either way. Like mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, or rather, saber-toothed cats, are among the most famous extinct animals in the world. Just think of the famous Ice Age cartoon, where the saber-toothed tiger Diego is one of the main characters. The last saber-toothed tigers saber -tooth? became extinct about 10 to 11,000 years ago. Scientists believe that the saber-toothed tigers were the first animals on the planet that have gone completely extinct because of humans. However, mankind can still get a chance to apologize to these creatures by reviving them. Scientists believe that the remains of saber-toothed tigers preserved in the permafrost can serve as sources of DNA. If scientists can manage to get the saber-toothed tiger genes, they will have to find a surrogate mother later on. According to the researchers, the best candidate is the African lioness, which is believed to be the optimal egg donor. The Irish elk. Uh, guys, again, he, even he just pointed out, most likely they were hunted to extinction. Why? Because they were encroaching in, on lands where humans were like raising kids. And they were like, huh, what's more important, my kid or this thing that tries to eat us? Right, and if we eat them, they're nasty. Have you ever tried to eat a cat before? I haven't, but I heard they're, they're absolutely disgusting to eat. Right, the meat's not good. So keep this in mind here. All right, what purpose would a saber-toothed tiger need to exist against uh, again for? But all right. Also known as the giant elk, is an extinct ungulate mammal from the Cervidae family. This species existed from the late Pleistocene to the beginning of the Holocene, ten okay. to thirteen thousand years ago throughout Eurasia and North Africa, but especially many remains were found in the peatlands of Ireland, hence the name of the species. Scientists note that the Irish elk was one of the largest deers that ever existed on the planet. The height of the largest individuals was over two meters at the withers, while the distance between the tips of their horns could reach up to four meters. 
Scientists are currently planning on reviving Whoa. these species. Right now, they're tackling one of the most serious problems standing in their way to successful resurrection. They're That's trying cool. to find living species that are most similar to the extinct ones. According to scientists, a only a representative of this species, specifically a female, can become a surrogate mother for the cloned embryo. One way or another, if the search is successful, the Irish deer may well be revived. To be eaten. Because so far, as of right now, you're basically just, you know, <laughs> creating things that we'll end up eating. The dodo is an extinct flightless bird that was endemic to the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. Along with mammoths and dinosaurs, the dodo is one of the best known extinct species and the most famous extinct bird in the world. Unfortunately, humans were the reason the dodo went extinct. Didn't we eat them? Before people began to populate Mauritius, the dodo lived carelessly in isolation from any predators. Scientists believe that was the reason why the dodo wasn't afraid of people that came to Mauritius, while people, on the other hand, realized how defenseless the dodos were and used them for their own benefit. Throughout the 17th century, people destroyed these birds' natural habitat, while the animals that people brought with them ravaged the birds' nests and competed with them for the limited food resources. As a result, the dodo population declined sharply, and the last Mauritian dodo died in 1662. We think that these amazing birds were treated unfairly, and so do many scientists who want to try and resurrect the dodo. They plan on taking okay. the dodo's closest relative, the maned pigeon, and combining its cells with the dodo's. Thus, theoretically, the revival of the Mauritian dodo might actually be possible. Yeah, but where are you gonna put it? In a zoo? Captivity? You gonna bring this thing back so we can hold it captive? Currently, the Australian island of Tasmania is known primarily for the Tasmanian devils, right. somewhat creepy mammals that are endemic to the island. But until relatively recently, there was another interesting species living in Tasmania, also called marsupials or Tasmanian wolves. The last wild marsupial wolf was killed on May 13, 1930, and the last marsupial wolf kept in captivity died of old age in 1936 in a private zoo. Despite the fact that the species seemed to have disappeared forever, scientists believe that they might be able to revive it. In 1999, the National Museum of Australia in Sydney announced the start of a project to create a clone of the marsupial wolf using the DNA from its pup that has been preserved in alcohol at the museum. DNA was extracted in late 2002, but the samples turned out to be too damaged and thus unusable. On February 15, 2005, the project was suspended. However, in May 2008, scientists did manage to get some of the marsupial wolf genes to work in the embryo of a mouse. The alcoholized pup of this marsupial predator that has been kept in the Sydney's museum for over 100 years was used as a source of the genetic material. It's very likely that the scientists will eventually be able to resurrect the thylacine, even if it takes hundreds of attempts. Uruk's I don't know, right? Uh, that one didn't like offend me as much as the other ones did, right? Because I'm almost positive we're not going to eat it. But in fact, um, why would you allow that to be loose, right? I mean, you're you're adding another predator into the mix of animals that have been living for a very long time without that specific predator. So the zoo <laughs> bro please don't make animals for the zoo guys this is an extinct ungulate mammal that was domesticated by the ancient settlers of india and eurasia about ten thousand years ago aurochs is considered to be one of the ancestors of all modern cattle but unfortunately this historically important species was declared extinct in the 17th century a.d when the last aurochs died of disease Scientists are currently planning on resurrecting the aurochs by backbreeding the primitive breeds of European cattle. They plan to breed species similar to the aurochs until they get an animal that's as similar as the aurochs as possible. Despite the fact that the aurochs bred this way won't be identical to the extinct ones, scientists believe that there will be very few differences. It's noted that the chances of success of this experiment are very high. After all, Heck cattle were bred from the modern domestic bull breeds originating from the aurochs bred in a similar initiative in the 20th century. Okay. That experiment was partially successful and thus a modern experiment may work out well. It's a beautiful animal, guys. The Carolina parakeet is a bird of the Pistacidae family which lived in North America until it was exterminated by hunters 
resulting in the genus being declared extinct. For feathers, yeah? It's possible to understand the reasonings behind the extermination, but it's impossible to accept it, as it's simply horrible in any case. Bro, 100 percent is for fashion. If you look at it, poachers hunting. That's a pretty bird, bro. All right. That's an absolutely pretty bird. They wanted those feathers for something. And depending on the year it actually went extinct, that'll even define it even more. If it was like 1920s and 10s and 30s when everyone was trying to you know, have, have like bird feathers all over themselves. I mean, yeah. It was probably that. Did the Carolina parakeet for their incredibly beautiful feathers, which were used at the time in the production of expensive ladies' hats. The demand for these hats led to the fact that the Carolina parakeet was declared completely extinct in 1939. Go. 30, see, 39, there we go. Nevertheless, scientists are currently working on reviving these wonderful birds. They have sequenced the DNA of the Carolina parakeet from the fragments of its eggshell stored in the New York State Museum. The geneticists are planning on trying to use a female black-headed parrot, Nundeus nende in Latin, for a surrogate. And even though scientists' intentions are good, many people rightfully believe that after the revival of these parrots, the story of their extermination may repeat itself. It will. It, it will. It Unlike will. Unlike the rest of the animals featured in this video. Because like that's the reality of most of what he's kind of pointing out here in the video, right? The overwhelming majority of these animals went away because of us, right? Uh, there was something about them that was super interesting to us, or they tasted good, right? Or they had gigantic horns that, that we can ground up and put in our tea, right? Not our tea, but you get what I'm saying here, right? But like that type of thing. So let them go, bro, right? Unfortunately, we did that. Um, can we right the wrong? That'll be great if we could right a wrong, but the problem here is, is that we're just gonna do the same thing all over again to the majority of these animals. Bro, let a saber tooth loose uh, you know, somewhere in, in Africa. Let it loose. They're going to annihilate that saber tooth consistently. Back to back to back to back, all right? The, the ivory-billed woodpecker is not recognized as completely extinct. It's officially listed as a species that is in danger of extinction. However, since there are literally only a couple of these woodpeckers left in the world, most ornithologists consider the species to be completely extinct. Wait, 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 did you say ivory bills? Oh no. When it comes to resurrecting extinct animals, one can't fail to mention mammoths, as these mammals are perhaps the most famous extinct creatures in the whole world. Mm. This is largely due to the fact that mammoths receive a lot of attention in pop culture. Right. There have been many movies and cartoons made about them, such as The Ice Age, for example, featuring Manny the Mammoth. That's why many people are waiting for the resurrection of mammoths. They'd be very interested in seeing how these animals actually looked. Apparently, these wishes might come true soon, since scientists often find remains of mammoths yeah, in the a permafrost. Lot of in Russia, Just Serbia. recently, a mammoth that lived only 4,300 years ago was found on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean. Scientists believe that resurrecting mammoths is easier than other extinct animals because the permafrost prevents them from completely decomposing and preserving important genetic material. Scientists have already extracted cells from the remains of many mammoths and plan on combining the mammoth genes with the genome of an elephant embryo to create a hybrid of a mammoth and an elephant with all the mammoth traits that we know from movies and books. And that's it for today. If you had the ability to revive any animal, what would it be? Let us know in the comments. Oh, and All right, so if I was to revive any animal that doesn't, bro, probably, I'm just trying to think of it, bro, but probably none of them. Again, I'm gonna stick with what I said earlier. And like, if you bring back this mammoth, think of an elephant, right? Think of an elephant but with like longer tusks that people are just going to hunt these for to take and make like nonsense out of. Instead of leaving it on the animal, they're gonna take it from the animal. <laughs> That's what they're gonna do, bro. You just are making more ivory for people. The reality, right? I'm, I don't wanna be that guy, but I am that guy. <laughs> so, but all right, listen, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. <laughs>